Hey there, friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage, a little bit of goofing around tonight. And uh, to start off with, I wanted to do a quick mail call for you guys. And also have a, uh, a local pickup as well. But So we got two things to look at here. But I reached out to the owner of uh, Patchwor Patchworm uh, Products. I think it's also called 2020 Concepts. Uh, the guy's name is George. Nice guy to con converse. I've only talked to him through email, but... Uh, Seems like a really nice guy, but uh, he uh, agreed to send over some stuff that I can review, and so got a nice little box here. I'm not exactly sure all of what he sent, but uh, I told him I did a lot of air gun and 22 shooting, so I think he at least sent over uh, stuff for that. But we'll see what we got. Oh. We got uh, some cleaning pellets. Those are 177 cleaning pellets. We've got some uh, 22 caliber cleaning pellets. Let's see what else we got. We've got the oh cool. We've got the uh, 177 caliber patchworm kit. <clears throat> what else do we? We have uh, the Patchworm Pocket Field Kit, which I, I'm, looks like there's a bunch of adapters in there. We'll be doing more. I'm not going to really show how this all works on this video, but uh, we'll be doing a full review on these guys down the road. But uh, this has a bunch of different adapters to go, I think, all the way up to, uh, let's see, 12 gauge. Yeah, the yellow one is for a 12 gauge. Um, so it'll do... 20 caliber all the way up to 12 gauge in this one kit here um, and he sent a whole bunch of uh, patches so we'll be doing some gun cleaning <laughs> I've got a lot of dirty guns but uh, that's pretty cool thank you George uh, we'll be definitely doing some good reviews on this product so you get the little uh, I like this little 177 kit here it's pretty neat so the concept is you feed, this is basically like a fishing line. You feed this down through the, uh, feed it down through the uh, pellet port here, out the end of the thing. And before you do that, you put a patch onto the, the cord and then it's got a little stopper on there and you just, it, it'll pull the patch right through the barrel. So. That is pretty cool, very cool concept. And then now our local pickup <clears throat> is, I've been getting a collection of these together. We're going to be doing a bunch of this over the winter here, I think. Um, and I uh, grabbed a Daisy 35 so that we would have, uh, I'm still trying to get my hands on a 901. I live in New York and they got some stupid law in New York that uh, we can't uh, so we can't have airsoft guns mailed to us, which is absolutely obnoxious. I can I can have a 35 caliber air rifle sent to me straight in the mail and dropped on my doorstep, but I can't buy a six millimeter airsoft gun. But uh, a lot of the air guns on Amazon are incorrectly listed as airsoft guns instead of uh, pellet guns. So I try to order a pellet gun off of Amazon and it, if it's in, inappropriately listed as a airsoft gun, they won't ship it to me. So, but what we have here is the Daisy Model 35. It is a little guy. Uh, let's see how it, it isn't. It's got about uh, the barrel shorter. It's got about an inch less length of pull than uh, my 922 over here anyway. But uh, let's go ahead and cut this wire tie and take a shot or two with it. I didn't bring my, uh, I didn't bring my downrange camera out, so we'll have to just, uh, <laughs> you'll have to believe me when I say I'm hitting something. It's got a loading port very similar to a 880. Uh, 
nice to pump. I think it's very much, uh, and the main reason I wanted to get this is uh, some people were saying, uh, you know, the <clears throat> I've been I've got the Barra and the Ruger NXG, and those are all rifled barrels. Some people were saying putting the 760 up against the rifled barrel guns might not be too fair, but uh, <laughs> it's shooting pretty darn good. Uh, but this is a smooth bore, from what I understand from reading on there. So it's basically an uh, uh, it really kind of looks like my 856. Let me grab that real quick. <clears throat> Definitely looks like the 856. <clears throat> there, yeah, that's what it is. So this is my old 856 right here. And uh, yeah, very much, very much the same thing just about here. A little bit. A little bit shorter still again but uh that is pretty cool so i'll be doing a full review on this guy down the road too i thought you guys would really appreciate seeing it though um if anybody's got a 901 they don't want and they want to send it over to me let me know <laughs> but uh that's uh, i think that's about the only one that i don't really have yet to put all these little uh comparisons together over the winter here uh oh, that pellet, that pellet fell in there oh. sideways and now it's, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> Doing, pating, <laughs> there you go, uh, there you go Riddick, pating. So, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.